guys what is up we are back we are currently in my room and uh today is a toucan episode <laughs> Let's see if our boy is up to it to hang out with us today. I'm put that right there for now. And I'm gonna try my best to get a, keep you guys as a fly on the wall and see me and Tupac hanging out today. He gets a little camera shy when someone else is here, but when it's just me and him, it's always magic. Hi, Papa. What's up, buddy? What's going on? Who are you? Come here. Come on. There he comes. Hi. Hi, my good boy. Come on. Come on. It's me. Nobody else is here. Come on. He's like scoping the place out. Come on. You ready to go? Let's go. Up. Come on. Up. Come on. Yeah. Good boy. I got a treat for you since you did a good job. Whee! Whee! Yeah! Someone's happy. My boy, you ready to go outside and play a little bit? Give it back. Thank you. All right, well, I'll put you back and I'll meet you outside, okay? I missed you. So our training's been going really well, if you guys can't tell. He's been uh, constantly knocking on my window in the morning to wake me up. <laughs> and every morning, uh, I've been picking him up, bringing him in the living room, eating breakfast with him, probably like 20, 30 minutes every day, bringing him back outside. But now, uh, yeah, we're gonna go outside and hang out with him and feed him and clean his habitat. And I gotta water my plants over there, so let's go. You guys don't know I got my whole house enclosed and uh, <laughs> it's basically escape proof for everybody including myself even though I ain't trying to go nowhere I love it here this is Tupac's habitat you guys have seen this already if you're new to the channel we are entering the boys house now um, I did take his bowls out early this morning and clean everything and uh, I do got to clean the floor so we will get to the floor cleaning afterwards but for now we're just gonna hang out see if he wants to chill play some basketball or something we'll uh we'll stick this right here so you guys can be a fly on the wall and uh you wanna play come on oh, you guys I'm not sure if you can see him, but he is up there. Is he coming? Come on. Let's go. Go ahead and play ball. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Sound of happiness. Can you have it back? Thank you. All right, I'm gonna put you up here. We're gonna do what? So now, you guys can see it right there. We'll play a little bit of games. Good oh boy. Come on. Now, I always throw the green ones really. Hi, the blue ones come fast. Yeah. 
boy. All right. Just giving the senses, you know, a feel of what's going on. Now this one's gonna go all the way up. Good boy. Just a little bit of the games we play to help strengthen our bond and uh, just to hang out, you know? We spend uh, all of our time, literally, I mean, my bedroom's right there, so even every morning he just like pops over and knocks on the window <laughs> and we created this bond. You wanna come over and hang? You ready to eat? Oh, you got yourself a freaking blueberry in there. He's like, Dad, I'm reminding you that I'm hungry. Come on. All right, so let's go feed him. He knows, Daddy, it's food time, Dad. So we'll put this on the actual water bowl and uh, we'll start making his food. I'm sure if you guys can see right there. Actually, I'll just prop you guys right here. So uh, inside of his bowl already, he has a couple blueberries from earlier today. I will now open this up, sir. Cut it out. Give him a scoop of all different types of fruits and veggies right there. Yeah, and that. Thank you, sir. So boom, I just put that in there. Now you get a whole bowl of everything. The whole kit and caboodle. So now I'll take this, I'll bring this over here, right to his bowl, and I'll set up his station. And usually he comes over and eats when I put it in there. Are you ready to eat or you wanna eat later? You wanna play still? I'm not sure what his intentions are today. He has uh, days where he likes to do lots of playing. Some days he doesn't like to play at all. Some days the crows come by and freak him out. So he's on guard. He's always like making this little dance and you know beefing with the neighborhood crows. And other days he's just real super friendly. So just gonna figure out what type of mood he's in and then go off of that. But now his food set up. He's probably a little freaked out about the camera, but nonetheless, he's got all this nice juicy food. Come on, you gonna eat for everybody? Come on, as soon as you're gonna eat first. Most likely he's gonna get his blueberries first. He is a blueberry fiend with that big old beak. And this is my daily life with Tupac, my Toco Toucan. If you guys are wondering, about this new merch I just got. <laughs> you guys can get this at wildjungle.com. We also got hats. Boom, get you guys a snap back. We have all types of cool stuff popping on our website. If you guys wanna support the cause and all we do is like build gangster stuff like this for most of our animals. Um, now I'm working on this big barn down there. It's gonna be my new reptile house. So starting next week, I'll be doing a lot of construction and moving the animals from where they're at into there and uh, so on and so forth so thanks for your support um i love you guys dearly i hope you guys are enjoying the content i'm trying my best to keep you guys updated but i have so many things going on at once from you know bonding with my toucan sometimes having the camera or the cameraman in here isn't the best because he doesn't like it and uh, to have a cool animal like this uh, it takes time um our first couple days we were hanging out we didn't really get along that well I didn't trust his giant beak, he didn't trust me, I was new to him. And then before you know it, we're eating breakfast together. 
and we're uh, hanging out. So he might bite me now. He's still on his little nibble stage. Um, but I kind of sort of like pay him no mind. And uh, he's been doing really well, um, which, is a, which is a plus because it kind of like, I guess, builds that trust between us. He's never bit me in the face, but it's the first time for everything. I'm not trying to start today, <laughs> if you know what I mean. He's bit my arms and my fingers and stuff like that. But needless to say, he's been really good about my face. And uh, hopefully one day I can pet that beak and rub his little white fur underneath there, his feathers, and uh, we can become friends. Um, we had cereal a few mornings ago, and he was like nibbling on my arm so he can jump on my shoulder. He jumped right on my shoulder, so maybe he'll jump on my shoulder now. I'm not sure how he's feeling. He's giving me that look. He's also sometimes 50-50 occupied with that blueberry in his mouth, so he's not like too worried about me. But sometimes I drop that blueberry and light you up. He's fast and accurate, and uh, he really hurts my emotions more than physically hurts me. He doesn't make me bleed or anything like that, so... Yeah, that's uh, Tupac. I'll tell go to again. I you know what, Pablo. You gonna come up? You gonna come up? Come on. You gonna go up? You gonna go up here? Come on. You gonna come up? I don't know. Again, he has his moments where he feels like He's down some moments. He's just like giving me the stink eye. Either way, I appreciate hanging out with him. Uh, being this close to an animal like this just means the world to me, you know? He's such a good boy. He's such a awesome creature. He looks almost like prehistoric. That beak doesn't look real. I take photos with him sometimes, just like daily updates and progress stuff. I keep on my phone, I don't really post and share. And I'll be up late night just like scrolling through and I'm looking at the photo and I'm like, dude, you just look unreal, man. And uh, I like when he like fluffs up next to me. I think it's a sign of comfort. I see him sleep all up through the top of the, he sleeps all up there sometimes in that pole. Sometimes he'll wedge himself in that corner to get away if it's windy. Um, I do gotta build him a nice little house. I gotta get a palm tree and like cut it in half and dredge it out and see how, uh, how it works. Gonna come up? Come on. Come in. Okay. Hey. It's like, Dad, I want to play. You want to play? Come on, let's play. Let's go. Let's play. We'll go play. We'll play a little more for you guys. See if we can play in the sun. Um, I don't know how I'm going to wedge this camera up, but we'll figure it out in a second. Give me a, give me a moment because he might bite my hand if I go too close to him. All right, I found a spot for us. To wedge up and play. Let's play. Alright, guys. Enjoy the show. Ready? Ready to play? Oh, I didn't see that pole. That's a little big old log right there. You ready? Oh, okay. Let's we'll play on the shoulder. We can move this now that you're on the shoulder. I got kind of more room to move around. Let's see where we can go. We'll go underneath here. We'll put this back right here. See how it goes. Alrighty. Here it goes. He's like, alright, we're gonna play that foot. Oh, there we go. Get it back. Alright, you ready? Good boy. I got two more. Oh, you ready? Good boy. Good boy. Here we go. This one's going up. Hi. Ah, oh, good job. So proud. We're four for four, kid. Last one, high one. Oh, it's okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm proud. Let's get the other two. Try one more. Green one's going high. You ready? Oh, we missed it. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. We'll try again. Ready? Hey, good boy. All right, guys, well, we'll see if we can get a photo for a good cover shot. It's me and Tupac hanging out, doing our thing in our house, and he's off. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, it wasn't gonna be too long, but it was worth it. I'm gonna clean up inside of here, 
you guys don't want to see that. You want to see Tupac eating, doing some tricks, and us hanging out. I love you guys. Until tomorrow, peace. <laughs>